Hello, everyone, and uh, thank you very much for spending time here once again. Welcome, everyone, Atomy Philippines. This is James Chung, Sharon Rose Master, Singapore. I'm so glad and I feel very privileged to be able to spend time with you again to share about the road to success. Now, the road to success is never a uh, fixed information, it's never a fixed topic. It is ongoing and as we all grow and as we all progress in our journey in success, then you will find it begins to unfold new information. It begins to tell us more things about the way to success. And at every different level that we are at, whether you are sales master or diamond master, or when you become Sharon Rose, or even when you become star or royal master, the road to success will mean very different things for each one of us. So you will have plenty to hear about, you have stories to hear about, and all of us who are there ahead of you would probably have a lot more stories to tell you as well. But we are running ahead with the hope that you would follow us, the leaders, and you would join us and you would pursue after us just as we pursue after our leaders ahead. So now that today, what we want to do is to be able to share with you the road to success in regard to success patterns. I shared about success patterns some time ago to another group of Atomians, but today for Atomy Philippines, I want to talk a little bit more with a slightly different angle about success patterns. There are patterns when you talk about success. So if you were to look at the slide, you will find that in identifying success patterns, success actually leaves clues. So that is the way we can see how a person is successful. What are the clues that you can find? when you can see that the person is successful, when you observe a person for a little while and you see him or her progress as far as her success is concerned, one year, two year, three years, what happened? What did he, he or she do that you can emulate and you can adopt for yourself and you can follow? You see, success patterns are things that you can pick up from other people that are around you, especially the people who are successful, because successful people have a slightly different way of life. They have a different perspective, they have different habits, and basically they do things that ordinary people may not want to do or may not do them consistently. So successful people are, peop are actually ordinary people but they do extraordinary things. They are people who have a very firm vision about what they want to do, and they pursue that consistently, devotedly, in a very committed manner, and their vision is very clear, and their faith pushes them on. It is not about having no problems. It is not about having no fear. It is not about having no obstacle. It is about courage. In the face of fear, in the face of obstacle, the successful people have a certain mindset, how they are able to push forward. And that has been something that I'm learning, I'm emulating from my leaders, I'm imitating, literally. And the word imitation, if you recall, is actually a very simple word. It is a word that says, I see, I follow, and I do exactly what my leaders are doing so that my success is guaranteed because they are already successful. So it is a proven thing. So as far as I'm concerned, I imitate them. I do exactly what they do. And so today, I want to share with you that one of the key success patterns is about imitation. It is about you being able to follow your leader. So you need to know your leader. You need to watch them. You need to look out for the success patterns that they stand up for. So if you look at the slides again, you will find that the best lesson that all of us learn, as far as myself is concerned, I learned them on my own. And your success 
secret will be lessons that you learn on your own. And while I can tell you and share with you my secret and my success experiences, well, it is important for you to pick them up yourself, to pick up the information yourself and to uh, apply them to your own lives. You see, success patterns, while they are patterns, each one of us will take them on and use them for ourselves in a way that best apply to our lives, in a way that best benefit our lives. It is, however, as we apply them, it is a pattern that we must take on. It is not something that we take and then we throw away those things that we don't agree with or we throw away those things that doesn't seem to be comfortable with and we just use the good part. That is not exactly the definition of imitation. Well, in some degree, imitation is something that you follow 100%. So I challenge you, see the success patterns and follow 100%. If you are around someone who you perceive to be successful, then today I want to share with you that I did that. I watched someone who is successful and I follow what they did. I observe what they do and I follow them. I decided within myself that I, what I was comfortable with, what I prefer, all that I put aside. I have to put them aside because if I continue to go that way, I will have to invent, I will have to reconstruct, I will have to set up my own success. But in anatomy, you do not have to do that because people are already successful and all you need to do is imitate them. And the road to success, and you will hear that from many, many people who would talk about their road to success, it is about imitation, one of the key factors. Imitation. And so when I see a successful uh, business person, if I see a successful atomian, if I see a successful leader, then I imitate what he does. I follow him. I watch him closely. It is not about our ability to do everything, to imitate exactly. It is not about whether you have the ability or not the ability to be able to take on everything. It is about you observing everything correctly. In other words, your perspective, what you see is very important. It matters when you are able to have a proper lens. You know, if I change my um, spectacle or my eyeglass here to a uh, uh, sunglass, to a colored glass, I would be looking at it very differently. I'll be looking at things differently. The colors of some things that I see will stand out more if I'm wearing a clear eyeglass or a you know, um, sunglass. So the point I'm trying to make is your perspective depends on the lens. And so when you do not see things clearly, then you have your doubts about following. And if you want to follow 100%, then you have to see very clearly. And seeing clearly needs time. So I challenge you to take time to observe, to take time to follow, to take time to have the right perspective so that you acquire understanding when you see, when you observe, and when you follow. You see, so you take time, you need to need, you need a time. So when you see something, you need to give yourself time to follow. You need to give yourself time so that your observation can be accurate, so that your lens can be adjusted and you are clear about what you see. So when you begin to see these things, you have an open mind and you begin to adopt them and put yourself in that position. Apply yourself to those principles. Apply yourself to what you see and that is what we mean by following, imitating. What do they do? All right, follow them closely. Watch how they behave. And so that actually forces your leaders to be able to live up to their standards. So leaders, information for you as part of our road to success, well, people are watching you. So what you say, what you do matters because it impacts your partners, your people who are following you. For the rest of us who are following, Sales master following the diamond masters, 
Diamond Masters following the Chevron Rose Masters and onward we go up to the Imperial Masters. The Crown Masters are following you. So all of us are following all our leaders. Don't follow too far. If you are a sales master, don't follow the royal masters because there are in-between steps that you may miss up. Follow the diamond master. If you can follow the diamond master, follow the Sharon Rose master when the diamond masters are following them and so on. Right? The point I'm trying to make is that you follow the closest person towards, towards you in terms of the hierarchy of leadership in Atomy. Why? Because every level has very different roles and responsibilities. Right? So I trust by saying that, that all of you who are Diamond Masters, who are Chevron Rose, who are Star Masters, understand and live up to your roles and responsibility because your sales master and your good consumers and those agents who are aspiring to be sales masters and catching up with the mastership, uh, growing into the mastership level, then these people have models they can follow, models they can imitate. So it behooves us to be able to live up to a high standard because Atomy is about absolute quality and absolute price, and I say absolute standard. In the way that we live our lives, in the way that we pursue the Atomy success so that our lives can become successful, right? So in my road to success, this has been what's happening for me. That when I see the leaders, I will follow them closely, I observe them, I make sure I'm seeing the right things, and failing which, I seek for understanding, I give myself time to observe. So you need to grow, and time is needed to grow. And what I do is I imitate fully, I follow what they do, to the best of my ability, and this is what I encourage you to do. What do they do? What do they eat even? Are they healthy? Now, there are things that you observe that you find that mm, maybe this is not what I really want. For example, one of my upline leader, he smokes. <laughs> All right, we are just being real, okay? He is a leader, but he smokes, and this is not what I want to imitate. All right, I want to imitate. I don't want to emulate smoking, right? So I understand that. So what I see is, okay, is this something that uh, impact my success in Atomy? Well, I don't think so, right? So what I do is I imitate those points that apply to Atomy success as much as I can. So in that way, I can ensure the Atomy success. Now, I know it's a fine line. I know it's a bit difficult to differentiate and to decipher what are those things you would follow, what are those things you wouldn't follow. Well, a principle, and that is that which builds trust, that which builds faith, that which builds confidence, that which agrees with your innermost value system. So this value system, while it is open for change and adjustment because you want to adopt a better ones, you want to adopt those that leads people to success, there are certain fundamental value system that you wouldn't want to substitute for. One of which includes health, your aspect, your attitude towards health. One of which includes your faith, all right? So that is something that you want to guard you want to pursue. That's why when you understand some of the fundamental principles of uh, success, the fundamental principles of uh, Adamy's uh, uh, road to success and growth, then you will find that you will have a clearer picture what you can imitate. So let me just go on to talk about the success patterns. And here you are, you can't start identifying these clues until you are open-minded, right? And you actually see what's out there, okay? And then you start studying these people, which is the point I was trying to make, right? And you will start to see the trends and you start to realize that things don't happen to them by chance, okay? So when you begin to see the patterns, you begin to look at what contributes to success and you want those same things for yourself. 
So let us move on. When you incorporate these things that you want on a daily basis, then you will start to change the way you behave. And therefore, that would bring about success for you. You see, we chase after success. We don't chase after money. You chase after the principles, after the faith, so that your lifestyle, your perspective, and what you do will begin to take shape. That would guarantee you success. Most of the success habits are the are that the most successful people, they do the things that anyone can do, actually, but they do them consistently. They do them with the right faith. They do that um, with a huge amount of commitment. And they do that because their leaders are doing that. So I challenge you that the road to success for you, just like it has been for me, is to be able to imitate and to consistently apply the successful principles so that success in anatomy is guaranteed for you as well, just as I am confident and I'm sure it is guaranteed for me if I'm doing right things right. So that's very important to do the right things and to do them right. So as, you go, as we go on to this cast, some of the key eight success clues that I find, the eight success patterns that so far I've come across, and I want to share them with you in a moment's time, then are you ready to take a piece of paper, take a pen, and as you watch and as you listen, you will begin to write them down so that you will remember them, so that you will know what you ought to pay attention to and you will begin to practice them. So are we all ready? Are we set? So let's look at it. The eight success patterns that I've come across so far from the leaders, and I'm applying them myself as much as I can, is number one, you need to be aligned and devoted to your purpose. So that is what I have been doing all the time. Every day, I minimally would spend about 20 minutes all right, quieting myself, just being aligned once again to a sense of purpose. What, what is life all about? What is my purpose? Why am I committed to Adamy? Why am I pursuing Adamy? What do I hope to achieve? I need to be afresh, anew, um, remind myself what the day stands for for me, what I hope to achieve for today, what I wish to bring across to the people who are watching me. How would I communicate all right, the purposes the positive principles and the truth so that people are inspired and people would want to pursue enemy for their own lives, right? So I align myself to those things. Second thing that I do is that I would basically uh, look at enemy again one more time. Today, I get refreshed with enemy. What is enemy all about? What are the principles and so on? The third thing that I do Basically, as I begin, as the day unfolds and I prepare myself for the day and I, you know, I freshen up and so on, I begin to use products. I use my toothbrush, I use my toothpaste as I wash up, I use my hand soap, I use my, you know, um, herbal uh, body cleanser, all the things that Atomy offers and that I have access to them, I begin to apply them. I begin to use them and I begin to enjoy them. I smell them. I feel the texture. I become consciously aware of the quality of the products that I'm using and I remind myself why those products and I get acquainted with the products afresh all the time, once again, every day, so that my belief, so that my acceptance, so that my confidence level in the Atomy products is always maintained and kept uppermost in my mind, in my heart, in my spirit, because then as the day unfolds, as I begin to take action and I begin to share Atomy and I begin to plan for the things that I want to do in Atomy and all that, I am aware and I am reminded of all the positive things and all the beneficial things and all the, the good things about Adamy. And that gives life. That and makes you enjoy your life. That makes life interesting and, ch and, and uh, challenges you to raise your standards as far as uh, 
you know, uh, excellent lifestyle, an excellent lifestyle, an excellent spirit. And that enemy is able to deliver and give us a chance to experience that. Now, let me go into a little bit of detail about these first four steps, these first four things, these first four success patterns that I observe. Now, I want to say that these four are things that I can use them, I can apply them personally, on my own. Nothing can stop me. It's a matter of me doing it or not doing it. All right? So, as you begin to think, as you begin to see, as you begin to uh, find your way and explore and have a better understanding, and as you become, become sharper and be able to apply yourself well and, and impact your own personal lifestyle adjustments, then you will realize that your commitment to purpose can involve your life perspective, can involve your motivational resources, can involve uh, quotations and reflections, and in anatomy, you have a life scenario plan. So these are your practical options that you can go to, right? If you want to think about how can I apply the first success pattern of devotion to purpose, how can I spend time becoming aware of my purpose? How can I improve my sense of understanding of my purpose? There you are on the slides. You see, you have your life perspective that you need to uh, run through over and over again on a daily basis. You are reminded. You have your life scenario plan where you write your goals and you write your reason why you want to achieve those goals. You have motivational resources. For us Christians, you have the Bible. For the rest of you, you have your religious books that you can refer to. You have quotations, you have reflections, you have resources. Go to these things and apply them. Put them into your lives. Set them as your standards for you to want to imitate and emulate and experience. So this is the first thing that we do. Even just for 20 minutes on a daily basis, you are reminded of your purpose. You, can, you are also reminded of the role that Atomy plays. Atomy is a very powerful, a very useful tool for you to achieve your purposes in life. Atomy is not an end in itself. It is a process in which it's a means in which you can achieve your higher ends. All right. So once you understand that, you will realize that Atomy in itself may or may not be everything to everybody, but it is a very useful tool for each of us to be able to pursue and use it in a beneficial way. But because it is a tool, it must be used in a clever way. You cannot use a hammer to try to screw in the screw, the screw, right? You cannot use a hammer to try to remove a screw. You need your screwdriver. So the right tool, once you have it, must be used in the right way. An enemy is the right tool that will impact your life, but you need to use it in the right way. So you need to relate to enemy. It is not about knowing about enemy. You don't just want to know about enemy. You want to know enemy in a very personal way. Because when you know them in a personal way, you know the principles, you know the spirit behind enemy, you know the standards, the absolute quality that we stand for, then when you have a fresh relationship, and in fact, from certain days, you may even have a fresh revelation. Now, when you understand these things, then that is your road to success. That is your Adamy vision, and that impacts the way you go about your lifestyle. We're using Atomy as a very useful tool. The products that you use, the business opportunity that you present uh, when you're looking at financial objectives in your life, the social uh, portion in which you are able to connect with people, that area, if that matters to you to give you a sense of fulfillment in life, Atomy provides that. You can socialize by drinking the Atomy tea, the Atomy coffee, all right? You have 
plenty of opportunity to make use of Atomy and yet improve the social aspects of your life. You connect with people with a story, with a vision. You connect with people with your Atomy experiences. So this is really an interesting thing for you to consider when you are relating to Atomy. You also notice the products. I mentioned that just now in a moment, uh, a moment ago, right? So we are looking at usage. We are looking at the way you can use Atomy products in a beneficial manner, in a conscientious and, uh, manner, in a powerful manner that impacts your life. And from there, with passion, you are able to experience, you are able to share those experiences. And that is very, very important because this is one of the success pattern that you must be aware of. You want to be successful in Atomy, then your relationship with products, the Atomy products, plays a very important role. Your ability to talk about product, to show the PowerPoint slides on products, and to be uh, confident with product, that also really matter. So you need to spend time with those things. Now, commitment to take action. That is one more thing that you need to do personally, all right? And this is something that you can do um, when you are on your own. You don't need to depend on anybody. All four things, you don't need to depend on anybody. You don't need to rely on circumstances. You can do it right in your own com the comfort of your own home. You can do it right where you are if you're outside, when you're waiting, when you have time, that you're wondering what to do with in between, you're in a queue, you're waiting for the bus, you're waiting for your food or something, you can go through these first four steps. All right, you just get out there, you just go get done, you look at your name list, you look at your to-do list, you think about setting appointments. So all these things are your action plan that you should commit to take action. So there you are, the first four success patterns that we are talking about here, right? That we are considering the first four success patterns. So the next four I want to share with you very quickly has to do with sharing atomy because we all share something. You either share gossips or you share your personal problems or you share circumstances and situation involving other people, which is a form of gossip, a form of uh, tail bearing, right? If you, got, if, if you don't have anything positive or anything that builds up people's life, then I challenge you, share Atomy because Atomy will only build up. Atomy somehow is able to build up because it presents an opportunity. It presents a, a better a quality of life. It presents, you know, better skills in relating to people when you talk to people and so on. Share Atomy, not just about the business opportunity, but Atomy as a lifestyle. Share Atomy. Of course, one of the other success uh, formula in our road to success involves the checking of your PV because PV is, is the, it's like the chlorophyll, it's like the bloodstream of the Atomy lifestyle. PV is the one that generates the income for us and income is what we all need because for you to hit your life um, excellence, then you need health, you need income, you need time. That's why we ought to hit our life purpose. Therefore, you need health, you need income, you need time. Hit your goals in life. So as you talk about uh, life experiences, as you talk about Atomy, you must somehow come to face with the issue of income. And PV is the one that tackles this particular aspect. So don't be afraid of talking about PV. Don't be afraid of relating yourself to managing the PV and so on. It is very necessary. It improves your health because a lot of people are affected in health because of income issues, all right? So, Connect with your leaders. That is the next point that we are looking at in your slides. Connect with your leaders because we want to learn more things you, as you think about problem solving, as you think about challenges, right? How do you tackle these things? How do you help your partners? Okay, you spend time with your partners, you need them, but you need to also connect with your leaders and then you also need 
to lead your partners. So when you do these things, these are your eight success patterns that I want to share with you today. So lead your team, all right? Share at to me, all right? If you see the relationship, the interrelationship, you begin to make announcement. You begin to talk about uh, Atomy. What do you talk about? You talk about the company. You talk about the products. You talk about the competition plan. You talk about the success system. You talk about life scenario plan. There are plenty to talk about. There is no way that you run out of things to talk about. Just talk about them, right? If you see the little interesting icon there in this particular point, it is about what you say. So what you say, either positive or negative things. Either, either things that builds life or things that does not impact and build life. So i rather you share at me because that will bring you success rather than you spend time talking and sharing because you will do that anyways. And then you will talk about anything under the sun that doesn't build. So talk about enemy and begins building because then you will build yourself. You will listen more as you talk. You listen double when you talk. So when you talk and share, you will definitely raise your own excellence. And that is your road to success. Check the points, your PV volume, your product categories, check your consumer buying behavior, right? The accounts type, agents or consumer, and how can you help them? Check your group purchase records. Look at all these things so that your PV makes sense for you. Your PV attracts you. Your PV gives you a sense of what you share, how you share. Now, we don't pursue after PV. You have an understanding of PV, but you pursue the excellent lifestyle of sharing at the me, knowing that PV will impact you. All right? So bear in mind, road to success is not about becoming overly concerned about PV, but just know that PV matters. Don't be callous about PV. That is the point I want to make. Some products carry a higher value PV, some carry a lower PV value. So the point I'm trying to say is, have a good mix, have a balance, apply them to the circumstances involving your consumers, your partners, your leaders, and then have a sense of how you manage them. So check with your leaders, check with your partners, how can this be improved? but at least you are conscious of point values. Connect with your leaders, actively spend time with them, your sponsors, your center managers. These are leaders, and I'm the center manager of Commonwealth Lifestyle Center in Singapore. And if you do have people in Singapore, members that you know you want to support and all that, well, just let me know. I'll be happy to do my part because I see how it can impact you in your business, I, it can impact uh, the partners, it can impact the atomy lifestyle, it definitely impact the road to success. So connect with your leaders, the leaders club members, the overseas leaders of course, and then the country manager. So these are all the leaders in the atomy uh, framework that you can connect with. And you certainly will do well on the road to success because all of us are connected with these leaders and this leaves me a clue that to be successful, you need to be connected with your leaders. All right, you need to spend time with them so that you become the leader that your partner and your team begin to connect with you. All right, they will imitate you because you are doing exactly the same thing. Right, so you need to lead your team, which is the final success pattern that we talk about. This part is the part that involves business builders. You look out for your business lead, uh, builders, look out for your team leaders, look out for your active agents, your auto consumers, in other words, consumers who are buying automatically, spend time with them. Don't just be contented that, oh, they are happily buying stuff and that's it, all right? And you happily, you know, enjoy the good points and so on. But basically, you are able to understand them better, their buying behavior, and then you take them on to encourage them, to support them, 
and to bring them up to a higher level because everyone only will use a certain part of Atomy products and there are many, there are always many other Atomy products that people are not assessing and giving themselves a chance to try them, to use them. So there's always opportunity for you to lead your people and cause them to have a more holistic and comprehensive uh, experience with the Atomy products, all right? So your team members, and then the new members, these are the ones as well that you want to consider to help them to achieve excellence. You see, your road to success is about achieving excellence. Your road to success is about helping others change and excel just as you would change and excel. And that is the eight daily call actions uh, that you would probably be more acquainted with. But I'd like to present them to you today in a slightly different approach, in a slightly different perspective. And I hope you got the idea that all eight areas are actually eight success patterns that is very consistent with, the, with a person's road to success for all of us who are successful. Number one, you devote yourself to a sense of your purpose. You commit yourself. You basically are aligned to that purpose and you will not part ways with that. You will stick to it. So you are devoted, all right? And then you relate. Atomy is about you having a relationship. So you relate to Atomy. So it is dynamic, it is ongoing. We will never fully understand all of Atomy because Atomy is still growing and expanding. And so we do our best every day to relate to Atomy with the news, with the development, with the new products and so on and so forth. Then you are in a better position to offer what you have because you begin to offer based on the relationship that you have with Atomy. You offer to your downlines, you offer to anybody that you talk to about Atomy. Then you have your personal experience with your products, which is very important. You notice the quality of the products. You notice the feel, the taste, the smell of the products. And then you can again share with passion, with personal belief. And that is very important, with personal conviction. So if you find that you are not successful because you are not able to share, then you need to take one step back. How is your personal conviction of the products? Is it because you lack the use of it? So that is the other point. All right. And finally, and the fourth point that you can do it yourself, all right, is to commit, take the action, make it happen, get out there and just do it. Right? So then you move on. What do you do the next four? You do it with others. You do it with a prospect that you talk to. You do it with a customer. You do it with your partners. You do it with your leaders. You do it with somebody. You just do it. What do you do? You share Atomy. What else do you do? You check your points about Atomy. You check your points. You help your people check the points as well. Okay, at the same time, you connect with your leaders, you understand where they are going, you understand their aspiration, and you also get uh, inspired yourself. All right, and finally, you lead your people. You need to be an inspiration for your people. Now, when you do all these things, do you feel that it is a big chore to be involved in anatomy and to be successful in anatomy? If you think that way, then you need to go back to number one, aligning to your sense of purpose, devoted to your purpose, being related to Atomy. So you understand why is Atomy requiring all these things? Why does Atomy suggest all these things? But this is not handed down by Atomy. This is as a result of the years of experience and the success that people experience and the patterns that is evident. And when people see it, they all conclusively agree. This is the eight core fundamental action that we all need to go to and use and adopt for ourselves because that is the guarantee for your success. So one day you can stand up just like me and share about your road to success 
because you will find that you have done these same eight things, which is basically the clear success patterns that we all will experience and see evident when you are on the road to success and when you finally achieve success. Right, I know I can run on and talk a lot more because I'm very passionate about the Actomy success uh, progress, the journey and the road to success that I share with you. There are many, many stories that the leaders and all of us, we can share with you, but they will never be too far away from the core principles of these eight success patterns, these eight core action, these eight core fundamentals that we all need to align ourselves with, we need to be clear about, and we need to be aware of them every day. Every day, because it's a daily action. And we continue to do that. And with that, I want to thank you very much, everyone, for spending time with me, for learning once again information that you may have already known, and yet, for those who do not know, I hope it is new information for you, for you to apply them. And for those who already heard about it, the leaders and everyone who is listening, I hope it is a refreshing uh, point for you to be reminded that there are so many things we can all do to achieve excellence and therefore success in our lives. Thank you very much, everyone.